We begin tonight with breaking news out of Northwest Miami Dade and the scene of a bad dirt bike accident. And we are getting word tonight the victim is an NFL football player. Local 10 News reporter Leanne Morejon has the story from Jackson Memorial Hospital. Leanne. Local 10 tonight, sources including the Baltimore Ravens, that Trey Walker of the Baltimore Ravens was injured in a dirt bike crash. His coach, John Harbaugh himself, being quoted as saying, Oh my God, this is devastating news. Our prayers and hopes are with Trey and his family tonight. Let's show you his photo. This is Trey Walker, 22 years old, drafted in 2015 by the Ravens in the fourth round of the NFL draft. He plays cornerback, is a native of Miami, and was a student athlete at Miami Northwestern Senior High. Now, this is a live look at the scene in Northwest Miami Dade. We're told it was just before 8 o'clock tonight that Walker was riding a dirt bike along Northwest 75th Street and 21st Avenue. He was clipped by an SUV. Miami Dade police say that he was wearing all black. It's still unclear exactly who was at fault, but they, of course, have been investigating ever since. And right there on the ground, you can see that dirt bike, the number 25 emblazoned on the front. That is the same number that Walker wears on his team jersey. Now, Walker was critically injured, rushed here to Ryder Trauma Center at Jackson Memorial Hospital. Family members and friends gathering outside the hospital, visibly anxious. We spoke to Walker's sister outside of the hospital just a short time ago. She told us how Walker is doing tonight and what they are asking from you. Right now, he's in critical condition. He's in surgery. That's the false information we know right now at the moment. I just ask everybody to pray for the Martins and the Walker, the Walker family at this moment. Right now we need prayer. That's all we need. We don't need no bad vibe around us. from sources that police are looking for a member of the New England Patriots who may have been there during this crash but is now nowhere to be found. We of course are still working to confirm other circumstances, other details about this crash. Of course, as soon as we know any more information, including who was at fault and of course how Walker is doing, we do know he's in surgery, suffered head trauma and was brought here in critical condition. But of course, we'll bring you any more information as soon as we get it. For now, we are live outside Jackson Memorial Hospital. Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.